so that's the great thing. As long as we work right. together. So you know what? You get a super long episode. Or I might split this up to be better paced. We'll see. You know the drill. First of all, I need to get rid of these clowns. You know what to do. This should work. Get out of here. Too late for the guns. That was a joke. All right. And skip this. Yes, Ion, you're sorry. Well, I'm not sorry. This time I'm gonna save big. But uh, yeah, I guess after this ending, I'll I'll say my thoughts and whatnot. And depending on how long, you know what? Yeah, I think I will split this up into two episodes. But I'm too lazy to uh, I'm too lazy to stop recording now. I'm too into this. I can't. You can't stop me. Uh, I will skip this though, since we know what's going what's going on. Big, you changed. Why do you look like a Honkai Impact character? It's over. I'm going into my second phase, Oringo. I have triangle legs. Don't try to stop me. But, okay. I'll skip this. Do it. Ooh. Hello, I am under the water. Come on, Fig. All Wake right. up. Okay, let's Pretty do this again. Stuff, shall we? You're gonna love this. Well, we know she's weak to wind. So I guess we'll hit this Fig. off right off the bat. This works. Destroy you. There we go. Fig. I'm not How your baby, that, sir. That's your cue. Right. How about Fig? Holy it's shit, six stacks. All right. Oh, I don't have wind, though. Eh. Uh, yeah. Fig. Interesting. That works. You're strong. All right. Be on your and then this. This should work. Yeah. Come, my beloved star servants. Yep. Good damage. Nobody has to. This is my purpose. Let this mark the death of <laughs> pain. Why can't you understand? <laughs> Wait, why did everybody get debuffed by me? But me. Did Arc Light just not hit? Okay. Uh, again? Hope you're ready. <laughs> We're going for the speed run, fig run. Fig! With this power. It, speed run, fig run. Misguided. You condone the existence. No, 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 don't care, fig. Don't care. Let this mark the death of pain. Fig's like, how you dare you? How dare spin. you skip my dialogue? Prepare for the secret Saiyan phase. Seriously? Yeah, I know. I What's can't believe open? it. Let's break it. Uh. We owe it to you. No, I don't we have it. I'm not your this baby. Oh wait, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, good plan. I forgot. I can't target her now. Too late for regret. I won't give up. Why can't you understand? Do you see? Why can't you understand? Oh my gosh. She has the same lines. It's almost like. Wait, it's actually like the Madarame clones. Um, what was it? You've angered me. You're gonna love this. Curse you! You've angered me. Fig. Okay. Fucking Matarami, man. <laughs> He's a hilarious villain, honestly. Oh, no, next turn. Yeah, <laughs> Alright. We gotta okay. win this. And one more. No matter what. Think you're safe? Okay. Out of my way. Do it. This is my I cannot lose. This is my I cannot lose. It's over, Fig. This That's to make you I a see. fig ma. She Which missed. You oh it. she blocked. This <laughs> isn't over. Wow, she had three I'm turns, so she threw it in the, the garbage. Drill. Don't be a hero. I'll Even if I must dirty my hands. It's over. Hope you're ready. Kaboom. <laughs> Alright, here comes the Omega Phase 2 Hermaeus Mora style. RGB. Why do they gotta make her RGB though? I mean, it looks cool. Kinda reminds me honestly of uh, the P4 last boss. It's just RGB, but it's an orb, you know. This one's kind of like a, like a flower, honestly. Thanks for all you did for Ash. Time to bust Let's do it. Let's I try no all mercy. I want. But shall we? You're gonna love this. Okay. All right. And hit it. Try and bluff this. I know we all you. Wait, she's not weak to win. Yeah, there we go. Fig. Here I might come. Might as well test it. Uh, you know what? We might as well test it. You're right. It's probably huh? fine. We might as well Come test right, it. Let's start Dinner time! Oh, no, whatever it takes. Okay. And do misses. No. Oh, it's just almighty, okay. And she's charging up. Go time. Okay. So hit him with the one. Hope you're ready. That's still with me? And a two. Think you're safe? 
Let's get down to business. Let's roll. And a three. I, this should work. I don't know. I feel like Almighty's kind of busted alive. in this game. I can skip that. Fine. I'll get this shit work. The fact that Almighty that really actually has plan? no weaknesses except for, you know, the Shiva boss fight is crazy, honestly. Let's see them withstand this. Too late for regrets yet. But then again, I feel like Almighty skills are way too easy to obtain in this game as well. Like, there's a lot of perso uh, demons that just have it as a default skill. Pretty damn stubborn yourself. Ability is sealed, okay. Go time. Hope you're ready. And that should be fine, actually. I, I know what to do. Okay. Got it. Got it. Oh, we to fire now. Something's off. Seriously? I don't know if that'll work. That's your cue. Take it away. That's how seriously. Do this. Let's be smart here. Big fun. Bingo. I'll get them out. And Works this. Let the rebels be this might one shot. Tear them up. Yep. She's dead. Okay. Well, that didn't take long at all to get back to where we were. So this time, we're going to reach out to the troop. Fig! Doesn't she? You can connect to it. What? But... Just do it! You can't give up on her now! This is the only chance we've got! There's still a future where the two of you make it! So hurry! Right. You just slap my ass. Uh, okay, okay. Emotional moment. I'll we'll see you when you both get back. Shut your goddamn mouth. Get in there, Ringo. So Fig is like losing memory bank as we speak. Cutscene. I was not expecting this. Okay. Protection set to zero. <sighs> Soul hack. Systems are go. This is so... nice. Do you think so? After all the battle and danger you've been through, this is what you step back for. To help the children. To help give these new lives a future. Please, it's nothing that noble.
Choosing not to fight doesn't make you weak. It made you a good person. I can fight so you don't have to. So the children don't have to. Uh. That's what she meant. She charted her course the moment that she knew... Okay. Damn. That's quite the foreshadowing then. She'll continue the fight so he doesn't have to. You can't stay here anymore. Go back to the others. I'm not leaving you here! Right, and that's when Fig soul hacked the uh, Raven. as ever says the lady who tried to hack the entire human race that's not like you what am i saying i can't say what's like you i never even tried to know you i think that ended up really weighing on you in a lot of ways i'm sorry fig no i was the one who hurt you and you're my friend i'm the one who should apologize I'm glad we got a chance to clear the air before we said goodbye. What are you talking about, Fig? You're coming back with me. The squad's gonna kill me if I come back alone. I... I can't. I already made my decision to fight you. I have to take responsibility for what I've done. And I want to honor Raven's memory in my own way. So it was Raven who drove you to this. You must think I'm so stupid. Trying to change the world just because my emotions took over. Nah, that sounds like pretty much everyone I've ever met. Besides, my own emotions are the whole reason I'm here. Your death isn't gonna make Raven happy. Even I know he wouldn't have wanted that. So come on. If I go with you, I'd be betraying him. Look, Fig. This world is way more complex than we thought. We can't just let one experience, one moment of pain define how we want to live our lives. No single person thinks the same way. That's where all this conflict comes from. That's why you and I fought too. But if you see any beauty in those differences, then... I don't think this is the right way to end it. Ringo. The two of us, I mean, all of us can think about how to deal with this. Talk it over together, right? We can even fight or argue sometimes. We're a part of Ion. We're supposed to have this transcendent intelligence, right? We can find an answer if we look hard enough. So, come on. <gasps> Secret last boss. 
Oh no, don't make this ending far more sad than what I just saw. No! Take my hand, Fig! Thank you, Ringo. But I believe this is the end. Farewell. Your story doesn't end here. Ringo! Are you alright? Where's Fig? Is she with you? You two better get here soon. Or we're coming in after you. Yeah? And how do you plan to do that? Just be patient. We can trust them. Hurry on back. Sounds like your friends are all waiting to see you. Raven! Fig, let's go home. Come on. days later. I don't really understand how Fig survived, but I'll be honest, I was close to tearing up. Shit, this is why I play video games. Also, why, why are all these endings have to be so fucking sad, alright? Like, I kind of think to myself, why, do, why the fuck do I play these games? I know it's going to be a sad ending, every time. Fucking sad ass ending. Shit, it's better than playing a horror game. You know, I was kind of expecting some of that craziness at the Municipal Tower to make the news. Well, not when so many people want to cover it up. Sounds like Yadagarasu's doing a good job keeping the eyewitness accounts under control. Phantom certainly doesn't want to stand out either. They've got their hands full smoothing everything over. Ugh. Hey, don't make that face. It's all in the past. Exactly. Relax, girl. Have some pizza. You agents of Ion are going to be plenty busy yourselves. Better focus on the future instead of dwelling on the past. Right. Thank you. Oh yeah. What happened to the Covenants after all that anyway? Yadagarasu's wondering the same thing. Same here. Phantom's scrambling to find them. Nobody's got any idea what happened. So either they disappeared or... Maybe someone else out there's got them now. No way to know for sure. Our summoning powers came back, too. Kinda sad Sabbaths are off the table, though. I'm glad we managed to finish analyzing that. Our workaround was certainly a powerful system. But it wouldn't be right to keep those limitations in place indefinitely. Especially since we'll be going our separate ways tomorrow. Yeah. <sighs> hey, snap out of it, boss. 
This is supposed to be our last hurrah before we all get back to our lives. You can't just give us the silent treatment now. On a normal day, you'd be talking our ears off. It's because everyone's leaving. She's feeling lonely. What? It's an unfamiliar parting. A sense of loss and longing, unlike the grief of death. It's a new experience, so we're not sure how to handle it. Hey! It's not like that! Whoa. There you go, I guess. Sounding a little more familiar. Hmm. So you do have a cute side. Strange that it'd only come out now. Oh, shut up. Maybe now I don't have all these jerks following me around, I'll finally have some peace and quiet. Not that it matters, but... What are everybody's plans anyway? I'm going back to Yadagarasu. All things considered, I might have... gone a little rogue. I'd better make a report, for good faith, if nothing else. Arrow, aren't they gonna kill you on sight after what we did to that discount Goro Akechi? Remember, he was like... Uh... Like, we fought, we fought him, right? Like, isn't he... Isn't he exiled now? Plus, I've got more battles ahead of me. I don't me. even remember his name. Fighting to end the fighting, right? How about you, Melody? If you need somewhere to go, I could vouch for you with Yadagarasu. I'm fine, thanks. I'll be going back to the Phantom Society. Would they even take you back? You nearly killed one of their top guys. Who? Hmm, who is that? Oh, Azazel? I think I was a piece of shit regardless. It's not like the entire organization is against me. Besides, I've got something I need to look into. Ah, the beard guy. Azazel, huh? Oh, never mind. Him. Yes. Him and the rest of the Grand Executors. By the way, if I'm acting shocked because I already saw this dialogue like 30 minutes ago, it's because I forgot. I was reading my phone about how to get the, the true ending, so excuse me. Wait, you two are just going back to your old gangs? If we're just gonna go back to killing each other here, I am not playing mediator for you. I think they'll be fine. Arrow and Melody want the same thing. That's something we all share. Even you, Saizo. Wait, this all makes sense now. All the visions... Okay, I didn't show this on camera, but all the visions that you see prior to opening the gates in uh, in everybody's Sector 4, uh, Soul Matrix, there are like little visions of the other characters um, commenting uh, or talking to the other members, and I'm assuming this is also in the future because the gates in the gates on the fourth uh, floor are about the character's future, right? And some of them are about how Arrow's like talking about Melody, like, oh, you know, don't worry, I'll take care of your mess, like, I'll cover up for you. And for Melody, it's like she helps Arrow, I think, every now and then, uh, indirectly with his operations. Saizo, on the other hand, uh, I think give supplies to both Arrow and Melody, and uh, I think Melody keeps in correspondence every now and then, like, uh, to check up on him and Ash and whatnot, and uh, yeah, so I think that's what those visions are. Those visions are about how, or it's like a, it's a glimpse into the characters' futures as to how um, how their lives are after, after this ordeal. Oh, I never realized that, but now I do. I was like, it sounded confusing to me because I thought it was about their past about how they were all actually interacting with each other prior. But no, this is actually those visions in the fourth sector were about their future of how they uh, interact with each other. I see. Speaking of, what do you plan on doing next? Probably gonna keep freelancing. The whole mess left me with a lot to think about, you know? But no more rolling with the highest bidder. I think from now on, I'm sticking to work I can be proud of. Protecting the world in the ways that I can. <laughs> Protecting Ash, too. Sounds like you've got your own path to walk. It might be a harder one than Arrow or Melody's. What about you? Ion's going to have a lot of work ahead of them. The plan's to start getting directly involved in mankind's future, right? Sounds like a big job. Your first meetings today? How is Ion not destroyed? That's what I'm wondering. Because didn't Ion get absorbed by Fig? And then when we dis when we you know when we originally destroyed or defeated Fig, I thought Ion was destroyed too. Yes. Apparently not though. I have to wonder how humanity will react to you. Well, someone once told me, singularities occur outside the public eye. It 
Usually, anyway. Fig, look after Ringo for us. She'd clearly fall apart without you around. <laughs> of course. Maybe the conflict really does never end. That's life. Now you're getting it. Well, on that note, I think I'll head out. If I keep sticking around talking, I'll never let myself leave. <sighs> See you around, Ringo. Fig. It was one hell of a bumpy ride, but... I'm glad I stayed on. Same here. If we ever need an MC, we know who to call. Please give Ash my regards. Take care. I should go too. Thanks for the memories. Try not to bicker too much. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Can you believe this? Melody of all people telling us not to argue with each other. Times sure have changed. See you. Well, as much as I'd love to stay, I should get back to my work. So, thanks for everything. All we went through. Kaburagi, Dr. Mangetsu, Raven. That would have broken me a long time ago. But I'm okay, because I had you two. <sighs> if you ever need anything, just reach out. I'll be there for you. Not as a Yadagarasu agent, though. As a friend. Yeah. There they go. Yeah. We should probably head out, too. Right. Wait. Fig, are you nervous? No, I mean, of course not. It's okay. We're all in this together, right? Right. At a half mind waiting for Mimi to move. Sentient Mimi, Soul Hackers 3. Protagonist. And that's it, right? After the battle at the municipal tower, I managed to bring Fig back to us. We even got all of Ion fully restored somehow. Okay, so Ion was destroyed. Ever since, Flamma's gotten a little more laid back. Near as I can tell, anyway. Ion never questioned Fig's choices at the end. They said it was because Fig's still a part of them. I guess all her emotions and decisions came from her, and she came from Ion, and that's good enough for them. And, based on all our experiences among mankind, Ion came to a conclusion. They decided it was time to formally announce ourselves to human society. Up until now, they'd define themselves as observers on high, removed from humanity. So this was a pretty big shift. Ion had only ever existed as a solitary being. That is, until Fig and I were created to walk among the humans. Humanity's been shouldering all kinds of burdens. Their qualia, relationships, 
pasts, presents, futures. Ion can't move forward without embracing these concepts of thinking and feeling. The concept of a me and the concept of a you. We can't go on living without mutual understanding or dissent. We can't go on living outside of the past, present, and future. Maybe it's existentially backwards in some ways. Or maybe it's a step forward for an even greater evolution. In any case, Ion decided their place was at humanity's side. Even with all the predictive calculations in the world, we can't know what tomorrow holds. But I think we'll be okay. As long as we're not alone, we'll be fine wherever the future takes us. Now that's a way happier ending. The... Okay, I will skip it this time though. Damn, they really fooled me though. They were like... They were like, damn, you got the super bad ending. You tried to save Fig and then she said no. I'll save it right here, sure, why not? Um, but yeah, I guess I'll just give some quick thoughts about the game, because if I go back to the main menu... Actually, you know what? I will go back to the main menu. I need some background, some background ominous noise, because if I don't, it's going to be like, Oh my god. It's just my voice. But, uh, here, we can, we can hang out in the load game screen. But, uh, yeah, overall, I think this game was very, like, much more impressive than I think uh, the Steam reviews gave it for. I'll, I'll admit, when I bought it, and I saw the Steam reviews, I was like, why is it mixed? Um, I did I did read a bit of it, but um, all that aside, all um, my personal experiences, um, I think the story was, wasn't that, like, overall engaging, but I think it's the characters that made it really enjoyable. Um, I think that, like, the characters are directly what make the story um, strong, and the story in of itself as a standalone isn't really that um isn't really that uh i would say um engaging and the reason why is because i think there's not too many characters in this game uh, if you haven't realized already besides the main antagonist for the most game for the most part which is iron mask um or like the identity of iron mask uh there aren't really any major players that exist for most of the game like yadagadasu like you have mangetsu but outside of certain head honchos i would say of the factions there's not really too many characters like yadagadasu sure has a lot like you know there's kabudagi mangetsu gen mayumi um and uh, raven but then you have like phantom society which just has um which just had iron mask and no one else like there were no other representatives besides you know azazel who shows up and is like hey what's up guys it's me i look like a demon but i'm a member you know uh same with discount Goro Akechi, I forgot his name, like that's how irrelevant he was, he just shows up at the end and it's like, yeah, I'll fight you in this bone area, <laughs> like, what? Okay, um, but anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I think the story wasn't that, uh, wasn't that strong in of itself alone, because it's, it doesn't really have a strong world around it, like, it's not really built to be, uh, deep, I guess is what I'm trying to say, the factions aren't really established, you know like whose side they're on and what they're fighting for but you don't really know anything about them they don't have too big of an impact like even the that we know that there's a huge war going on between yadakadasu and phantom society we never see like a war we never see a fight it's just you know they exist they're there they're in the world um so i guess that's my opinion on the story if i had to give it um now the characters i think all the characters are fantastic um First of all, I love Ringo. I think Ringo has actually become one of my favorite protagonists along or favorite characters in video games, um, which is a big thing, obviously, for me. Um, I only have a few favorite characters in video games. That'd be like Adashi from Scarlet Nexus. Um, I like Wanderer from Genshin Impact. Akechi, obviously, the goat from uh, Persona 5. And uh, Sugiyuda as well from Judgment. I like a lot, a lot of the like more more like cool characters but also like they're pretty established already 
Ringo was definitely a lot more interesting than I gave her credit for at the beginning. I think, uh, in fact, I thought Aero was the protagonist when I started this game, I'll be completely honest. Uh, but Ringo is great. She has her own personality, and I love how she's this um, almost like apathetic and like robotic character from the very first cutscene where she's like, oh no, Arrow's dead. It's like, well, that sucks. It's literally like the meme, you know, she's like, well, that sucks. Arrow's dead. Um, but then you realize that uh, she grows to be, she grows out of this observer role and becomes much more engaged and uh, expressive, I would say, when talking with people. She becomes more invested in like the concept of death and conflict and uh, sometimes even like identity, uh, love, care, and sympathy basically it's really cool especially when you delve into the side quest and you kind of uh, get an idea more of how she um how she logs uh the request because if you go to the request she actually shows a lot more personality than uh, uh than you might think and i know that's stuff that people won't really read but i do um I, in my own time and it was pretty cool to see that uh ringo was a much more like expression uh expressional character that had a personality than i would say most protagonists do uh in video games i would say odingo was just a super cool character she was like sarcastic um but she wasn't me and she was really likable like she got along with everybody she had great banter with everyone it sounded super organic uh i haven't obviously listened to the voices uh in the other languages but i will be playing this game again um in Japanese, so I can see how it is there. But uh, I gotta say, the English dub, it was great. I loved it. I think it fit all the characters. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say about Oringo. Her design is swag as well. Like, I don't even use that word, but she has a super cool design. So I, the only thing I wish is that she had a scale figure for her. I'd buy that. I'd pre order that right now, in fact, after this video. But um, yeah, as for the rest, Arrow, Melody, Saizo, I think they're strong in their own rights. I like the whole dynamic between the main party that they really aren't friends, nor are they family. It's kind of like the hangout that uh, they had, but they're partners really. They're working together for a mutual goal and they help each other through their hardships and they acknowledge each other in their hardships as well. But they're still relatively distant from each other. They're not really like, I would die for you and whatnot, but they're friends, they'll help each other. And um, even at the end of the game, they go their separate ways, but they still acknowledge each other's uh, cap uh, capabilities and strengths. So I really like that. I'm not going to go too in depth though, because if I do, this might be a mini look back. Um, and then the game functions. Uh, I think this is definitely where people would rate this in a more negative light. And I understand the mixed part of this because of the, the scope. That's kind of how I always seen it. The scope of this game. It's made by Atlas, and a lot of people have probably played like Persona or SMT5 or any of the SMT games. I, I know SMT5 is on Steam now, so it just came to mind. But um, I think it's because this game is way more, it's way less ambitious than like AAA titles or like higher, mm, higher budget games, perhaps even. Because I think this game does indeed, you can see, it doesn't really have a big budget. Um, People are, will make that comparison, and because it's made by Atlas, I think people will get the wrong impression that this game has so many different uh, functions similar to like Persona, um, and that's not true at all. So I would say this game is good to weigh your expectations, or even just don't have them at all, like me. I never have expectations for games, and I had a blast. Um, it's not even a long game too, I, look, look, I spent like 37 hours on this game, like that's not a lot at all. I, I completed it in like two weeks and I didn't even play consistently at all. Um, but no, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I liked how I liked how um, sequential this game was where you go to the zone, you do the story, and then you pick up like two quest items or whatever that give you hangouts. You do the hangouts, you get some like funny banter and soul levels and a bit of lore on the characters. Then you go to the soul matrix, you go do these little levels you get to see more about the characters and then from that you get items and then you basically um use those items and new demons because let's be honest you're probably going to do most of your recruiting and farming inside the soul matrix they're the the actual playable zones are very very um like small 
in scope so you'll probably do most of your fighting there and uh, i think the overall what i'm trying to say is the overall like gameplay loop of the game of bringing you from uh bringing you from like a progression zone like the subways or uh the subways or let's say the crap what's it what's another area i spent so much time in the subways that's why what i'm talking about is like you spent so much time in the real world areas and then you take that and then you get new soul levels to then go into the soul matrix and then you do the hangouts and then you do the request and then the request then unlock new hangouts which gets you more soul levels so like all the systems are pretty much symbiotic with each other and due to the nature of this game it doesn't incentivize farming at all so you can do all this content but even if you don't or if you choose to do it later it's not going to significantly impact you and as a turn-based game this was surprising because usually for turn-based it's like you have to grind how do i know this I played Dragon Quest, that's what. That's how I know. Um, but no, this game actually doesn't require that at all. Um, in fact, I don't even think you can overlevel yourself due to how... Uh, I feel like it almost hard caps your XP gains uh, once you reach a certain point. So there's honestly no point in that, and the difficulty level leveling makes it much easier to also deal with stuff. But that's all I'm going to say, because I think that is all my thoughts right now. I don't know if there's any new content in NG+. Um, all I hope is that, uh, if there is, that'll be cool, and I'll put that on the look back. I will say this, though. I feel like this game could definitely use more outfits, and I don't know why I can't wear my outfits, too, in the overworld. Like, they exist as, like, sprites. I don't know why they, like, unless they don't want to animate it, but I feel like they'd be, they'd be okay in the open world. And, uh, I wish I could hang out with Fig, too. I think it's a big negative that you can't hang out with Fig. Um, even though you do know her as a character and she does have her own development, it, I feel like hanging out with her, at least for like the hangouts and maybe even having like a small, uh, soul matrix for her in like the true end game would have been nice because then I get to learn more about her and then I can see, I can transfer that knowledge into NG plus and then see how she develops. Just like I see how much Ringo does as a character because I am her. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the only negative I do have to say. I think the game is phenomenal. Um, I don't know anything about Soul Hackers as a genre either. I'm going to do some research though on Soul Hackers 1, see if that was a game. Um, and yeah, this was a risk for sure. Like a risk of a game to make for Atlas because it's kind of like Armored Core, I feel. <laughs> Where it's a, it's an IP that not that many people know. Um, but I think they made this game because they wanted to. It's like a passion project almost. They like this IP and they wanted to kind of test the waters. And uh, in my opinion, it was great. Thanks for this experience. I love Oringo and I will see you. Oh yeah, what's the next game? Usually I know it's the next game, right? Let's see. Actually, it's going to be running at this time either way. So it's either going to be Uncharted or Blue Reflection. All right. Have a nice day. In fact, or a nice night because it's never day in this city. What is the city even called? Actually, wait. No, I don't think there's even a name for this city. Okay, I'm out of here.